Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and we are back in the danger zone. You guys really seem to like my overview of this new awesome sandbox map in the last episode. And I asked you what you wanted to see for future episodes on this map. And one of the common ones that a lot of you were not happy that I didn't try out in the last episode were these giant jumps here. So the goal for this episode is to build a vehicle or a couple of vehicles that can hopefully clear, at least starting off, this gap here. And what I would really like to be able to do is have one of the really satisfying landings where I jump off the edge here and then land perfectly, really smoothly right on the other edge over there. I don't know if that's going to happen though. Just landing on it without dying would be great because we are really, really high off the ground. But then after we get this, which I'm pretty sure we'll get, is the ridiculously big jump over there. You st I think that's the higher point on that side. So we're gonna go off that ramp, try to traverse all the way over to that ramp over there. Now, obviously, if we just have a flying vehicle, it's not an issue. You just drive off there, fly and land over there. It's just a matter of flying accuracy. But I wanna try this without using thrusters. So I don't know if it's possible to make this. I really don't think it, it might even be possible, but I'm gonna try to make a vehicle that can go as fast as possible. And it will need to have wings, I think, to at least glide over. But I wanna make sure that it's not a flying vehicle that could just fly anywhere it wants to. It actually has to be gravity driven after it goes off of that jump, not thrust driven. So that's the goal for this episode. And I hope we'll be able to do some of it. Maybe not all of it. I don't know how that one's going to go. I'm sure it's going to frustrate me like none other. But um, that's the fun of that's the fun of the experimentation. But I think the key to this is appropriate aerodynamics and weight distribution and speed. All right. So it's starting to sound not as simple as I initially had hoped. But I'm also going to use the uh, let's look at the seat differences here. Ooh, 50 kilograms for the indestructible seat. It might actually be more worth it to do the go-kart seat because it's a lot lighter. So we'll probably be able to get a little bit more speed because what we're going for here is smooth landings, which means we shouldn't be taking a lot of damage, which means the armored seat shouldn't be something we should worry about. We should want to land smooth enough that any seat should be good enough. So I'm gonna, that's why I'm going to go with the go-kart seat because it's the lightest and our goal is a soft landing. Now, wheel choice. This is going to be the big factor here. What are we going to do for wheel choice? So we have the slim wheel, which is slim and fast. I like this wheel a lot. It doesn't take up a lot of space and uh, it's really easy to use. Like the maneuverability feels a lot better than a lot of the other wheels. But we want a high top speed. However, we might actually want a high acceleration because we only have a limited amount of um, runway to use. Well, let's look at the size differences here. So here is the racing wheel. That's actually pretty big. And oh, that is really big too. I feel like that's going to be too big for us to, it's going to hold us back on these hills. We need to be able to go uphill at a fast speed. We should test this out on flat ground, see what's going to give us the best top speed. But I feel like trying a combination between the racing wheel in the back and then the slim wheel in the front might work out pretty well. Let's find a good spot to start testing these things. There we go. The high jump area is like a nice big straightaway. So this would be a good spot, a good spot to test our uh, speeds and stuff. All right, so as I'm building, I'm thinking about a couple different factors here. We need aerodynamics, we need weight and speed. Now, in order to get speed, we need engine power. And I think the Dragon engine is the most powerful because we do not want to rely on any thrusters for this. Ideally, we want it to be mainly gravity driven after it goes off the ramp. All right, let's go with four to start off with. That actually might be more than enough for the small jump. All right, so this is a really basic derpy design. Like every single part has a particular use. Nothing is superfluous here. So my main thing that I'm testing right now is um, the wheel configuration. So is racing wheels plus slim wheels better than all racing wheels or maybe all slim wheels? So we should have most of the air being deflected around the big parts. So let's just see how this does. All right. Wow. All right. This seems to top out at 156. And it gets there very, very quickly. High amount of acceleration. So let's test out with just racing wheels now. All right. All right. So clearly just racing wheels is better than the slim wheels. All right. So racing wheels give us a higher top speed. Let's test out now with any other types of wheels. Let's try the drag racing wheel. So that would topped out at 164 if I remember correctly. So, oh, wow. These are big. Now, let's just try combination drag racing and racing. Let's see how this works. Oh, look at that. 
That looks epic. All right. I feel like it's a little bit slower to the acceleration. And overall, overall, it feels slower. It was 164 with just the racing wheels. But is it because there's two different kinds? Or is it just the racing wheels aren't as... Or the drag racing wheels, wheels aren't as good overall? Let's try this. This thing feels so big. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Maybe we just don't have enough power. That could be it. This could be a power issue. Here, I'm going to add myself some more engines. I feel like these wheels might have a higher potential. They just need the power for that potential. All right, so I've added a lot more engines. Let's see if these wheels will now beat the previous ones, which of course they do. Look at that speed. Look at that speed. Look at that turning is terrible. All right, we get, we're definitely going to have to adjust the turning here. Oh, no. <laughs> that is so terrible. Well, if we're going straight, how does it do? 194. 194. Now let's go back to the race, just the racing wheels and see if that is faster than these now that they have more power. All right, here we go. Just racing wheels. Can it beat 194? Look at that. Look at that. So right now the power is diminishing returns with the smaller wheels. So if we want ultimately more top speed, we need to give ourselves bigger wheels. So I'm glad that answers that question. This is going to be a huge factor, especially for the really, really large jump. All right. So drag racing wheels it is. All right. So now I'm going to fine tune things. I'm going to add more engine power. And there might be a point in which the mass of the engines out uh, outweighs the gain in power. It all really depends on how these wheels go. But uh, one of the things I'm noticing is this just feels really, really short. So I'm just going to extend this and fill it in with more engines because that's how we roll. Okay, so now what I'm testing, this is so heavy. Like, all right, let's see, can we beat 194 with this? Oh, wow. What is happening? What is, uh, we're breaking. That was interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've done some experimenting with some aerodynamics and found out that the wheels are actually a pretty big source of um, air friction. So as you can see, I've added, oh, we're actually like going up against the ground there. So we were at like, what, 255 or something or 256 max speed before. But now since I've added this in front of the wheels, check this out. 260, 270, 280, 290. So now we're at 295. Ooh. We're at 295. So now it's just a matter of, am I even going to be able to land this thing? Am I going to be able to control this thing in the air? Here, let's just fly off and see what happens. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, so this is going to be an aerodynamic nightmare once we jump in the air. But you know what? Let's just see how it goes. We're just going to try it as is. We haven't done any test runs yet. So um, let's just see. Let's just put it into action and see how this thing behaves. Oh boy, this thing is so heavy. How? We're not even going to be able to like get up on here. Ow. All right, hold on. Hold on. I just... <laughs> the whole front end just fell off. All right, this is great. Oh, and I just exploded. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, there we go. That's perfect. Oh, man. We have to stay straight on this thing. Okay. All right, here we go. I have a feeling we're actually going to overshoot this. We are totally going to overshoot this. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Um, nailed it. I think we need to go a little bit slower on this one. I think I've been I think I've been thinking too much about that ramp right there, which I'm actually like we might have some potential with this vehicle. Well, the landing is going to be a different story, but uh, let's try this again. Landing is going to be an issue, though. I am just made of, of explosives. All right, here we go. Here we go. I should build a better car for this ramp. All right, all right. I think I can do this from like right here. Just like no room for acceleration because look how close that is. I thought it was further, but I guess not. All right, and... Huh! Was that satisfying or what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now, trail makers? <laughs> what is with these ramps? All right, that worked. Uh, let's see, can we replicate that? I'd love to do that again. All right, so I think the issue is that my front is pretty much dragging on the ground, and I've also got suspension on this thing, which means that it's just going to be hitting all of these little bumps. Yep, yeah, see, there's like a little tiny bump every single section, right, right there. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. I knew that was going to happen. All right, so let's see if we can do this again. Or just go from the last section right here. Go! 
Oh, that feels so good when it actually works. It's the smoothest landing. That's all I wanted to ask for for that first jump was just a smooth landing. All right, so now we have this other jump and seeing the performance on this thing, I don't think, first of all, I don't think we're even gonna be able to get up the jump. And then second of all, um, I don't think we're gonna be able to land without exploding. But we will never know if we don't try. Okay, so I'm also noticing that this larger jump here doesn't give us nearly as much of a runway as well, which is going to be a huge factor. And look at those lips. We are just going to explode on that first lip right there. All right, here goes nothing. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. All right, so something's telling me that I... Oh, no, I didn't want to press that. Dang it. Is there an easier way to spawn up there? I don't think that there is. There we go. That's a little bit... Oh, it's not even attached. Why is it not attached? Oh, hey! These are new. I just found these tube slopes. I didn't know that these were even part of this update. That's awesome. Slopes are great. Check that out. I like it. All right, those are going to be useful for some design stuff later on, but um, I just wanted this tube elbow for now. All right, so now look at that. It's low, but it is not hitting the ground. So hopefully that'll allow us to survive uh, those pesky little lips. All right, here we are. We're lined up. We're ready to go. I think we're straight enough here. Let's see how far we can make it. We have no wings or anything, which is my plan eventually, but let's see what happens with this. <gasps> oh, our aerodynamics are not well suited for this at all, as you can clearly see. All right, so it looks like maybe I might be able to do this. We made it more than halfway, I'm pretty sure. So we might be able to do this if we add wings. And I'm even thinking about like, can we do it with just wings that aren't even controlled for pitch and roll? So we're just gonna glide straight over. It's all about our aerodynamic capability and we can land hopefully on the other side. All right, so by the looks of it, this vehicle, I tell you. What I was gonna say is by the looks of it, um, the aerodynamics of this vehicle makes us flip backwards. So I'm inclined to add just a pair of wings um, to the back, which is hopefully going to give our back some lift, which will cancel out the flipping from the front. And I know it's going to end up not working very well at all, but uh, that's what trial and error is for. And I'm ready to do some trial and error. All right, first experiment. Huh. Oh, we were much straighter. You saw us want to tip back, but then those wings totally uh, straightened us out. All right, so let's give this a try then. What speed are we even going to get up to here? 270. Look at that. Look at that. No back flipping. Oh, we actually have control, but we do not have the speed. I'm actually a little bit worried now. We do not have the speed. We got up to 270. There is potential that we could add more engines, which could give us some more speed. Overall, I'm not confident that we're going to be able to get the amount of speed we need on just engine power, but it's not going to stop me from continuing to try at least a few more times. Let's see what happens. All right, so I've added four more engines to this thing. They shouldn't really take away from aerodynamics since they're behind our aerodynamic pieces. And I'm hoping let's get over 270. What was it? 270 or 276? I think it was just 270. All right. Man, my wheels are so wobbly, though. All right, and we're taking off. 240, 60, 70, 80. Oh. Oh, no. All right, all right. We just got to power up with some more engines, maybe. There's gonna be a point in which it's not gonna help us anymore though, I'm pretty sure. All right, here we go. We got up to like 280 something that time. Now we've got a lot more engines and a lot more weight at that. That's actually another issue is the weight, but um, I think we're gonna need to get our speed up to cover this gap though. Here we go, full power, straight ahead. We hit almost 300. Oh. Oh, you can feel us getting closer every time. I actually want to try that again because I held the gas on, which means that if I hold down W, once I'm in the air, it wants to pitch me down. So if I hold back after I get in the air, I might be able to maintain a higher trajectory going over to the other side. Go, 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 go. Well, that hasn't happened in a while. All right, here we go. We're trying again. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. We got, uh, not quite. All right, now I'm pitching back. Pitching, pitching back, pitching back. Oh, man. We are not close. Like, 
I mean, we're definitely closer than we've ever been, but uh, we actually have a little bit of a distance to cover. All right, here we go. So I've made some adjustments. I've uh, gave myself a little bit more aerodynamics above the wheels, hopefully giving us some more speed as we go up. I've also had to tighten or stiffen the suspension a little bit because we were touching the ground again, which wasn't going to help us out. But let's see how far... I, ha I haven't added any more power to this thing. I'm hoping that aerodynamics is enough. Why is our right... Okay, there we go. We got up to like almost 300 again and we are falling short man we lose our thrust our thrust capability is a lot all right so now i'm gonna go for more wings equals more lift which is gonna keep us up more gotta counteract our weight issue i don't really know i don't know what to expect with this you know what i'll even add tail wing in the back here there we go so let's see if this helps us stay up in the air more we got up to like 297 or 298 uh, all right, and we are getting up to 300. Whoa, whoa, that was a huge improvement. Oh no, oh man, we're still way short. Why are we way short? Is it the weight? Do we need, whoops, I took the, pressed the wrong button. Do we need more engine power? All right, I've added four more engines. We got up to like 314 or 315, I think. All right, here it goes, here it goes. What's our speed? 325, oh. Oh, oh no. It feels like we're doing so well and then we just dive down so quick. You know what? You know what that means actually? We need more lift in the front now. I don't know if this is gonna affect our speed much, but I'm gonna put some right here and hope that this helps us out a little bit. Here we go. 323, how is our lift? Oh, oh man. We need more front lift. More front lift. Where can Oh, I see a spot. I see a spot. Hold on a sec. Ready for this? Yes, 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 yes. This could work. All right, so we're going to use the modular wing and check this out. We can stick it right underneath the nose up here. We can actually stick two of them. And now I'm hoping this isn't going to be too much. This might give us too much nose lift, but we'll find out when we get up there. All right, here it goes. Let's see if this gives us more lift. Three, tw we're still like at the same. Oh, <gasps> oh, come on, go, go, go! Oh my God! Well, what is happening? What is happening? <laughs> this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Look at that. Those wings made a huge difference. Okay, okay. All right, we could do this. We could do this. That was our first sign of hope. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of one of those wings. We're just gonna have one underneath and maybe that will do it. I cannot believe that that, it looked like it was gonna happen so well. And then it just didn't let us down, which was interesting. So I think we might, oh, I, I'm getting too excited now. I feel like we got our first taste of like being able to do it, but it's probably still gonna be extremely hard to land this thing accurately over there and without exploding. Like it feels like we're so close, but the landing is going to be as hard as getting over there, I think. So I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but uh, here we go. Please, 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 please. Ooh, ooh, that, oh, no, no, I'm facing off. Oh, okay, wow. Wow. All right, so um, just the one doesn't cut it, apparently. Here we go. So we got two under there, and I'm just going to get rid of these side ones in front. I never liked them anyway. And maybe that'll give us the right amount of um, upwards lift in the front. <laughs> <laughs> to just make it perfect. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. All right, yes. The lift is looking good. It's feeling good. Oh, no, we're just falling short. We're falling short again. I don't think I leaned back enough. I think it was leaning back was the issue there. We gotta try it again. All right, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Uh, lean back. Lean back. It's looking okay. It's not looking okay anymore. Whoa. Whoa. All right, I wasn't expecting that. Those front wings apparently made a pretty big difference. All right, here it goes. This is looking good. This is looking like a good trajectory. We're off. I'm leaning back. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go forward. No, no, no. Go down. But why do you do this? Why do you do this with the front wings like that? What is happening? Why do you enter float mode? What is this? <laughs> Does that count? I don't know if that counts. I'm gonna take away some of my center wings. I feel like we had too much lift there. That is so confusing. It's like, it feels like we're a brick for a little bit and all of a sudden we become a feather. It's really weird. 
but I'm gonna take away these ones up here. All right, we're just going for it. We're just going for it. Okay. Okay, how are you gonna behave this time? How are you gonna behave this time? Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, that I think has potential. I think it has potential. I just went off at a slight wrong angle. I'm just gonna make it a little bit more centered with these wings. I'm gonna hope that this is the Goldilocks of vehicles right now. All right, so the issue really right now, I feel is like perfect alignment is what we need. If we don't get perfectly straight, then all is lost. This looks good. This looks good. This looks good. Oh, what? It's not. Wait, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Go, 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 go. Oh, no way. No way did we just crash into it like that. Oh, if we were at like three kilometers an hour more, we might have been able to make that lip. All right, alignment and speed. Let's take a look at our speed when we go off the lip. It is 317. 317 and we're sideways. We can't do this sideways. Should we put a tail fin? All right, here it goes. This is feeling good trajectory. Good trajectory. We're off. I didn't see the speed. I didn't see the speed. Does it matter? Does it matter? Oh, go, go, go. Oh, man. It is so close. All right, the tail seemed to help us with our trajectory at least a little bit, but um, I didn't see the speed, so I don't know how it affected that. All right, come on, scrap man. What's our speed? What's our speed? 328. That's good. That's good. That was better than the 317. Our tail is behind us. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Wings a little bit more forward. Keep our front end up a little bit more. Let's go for this. Okay, we're a little, we're, all right, that was a little bit weird. I don't know if you guys saw, but our front end was just not looking good. Oh, oh, it's happening again. All right, so moving the wings forward definitely made a difference and it's gonna be the difference that stops us from landing successfully. So I think we need to move them back a little bit more. There's a sweet spot in here somewhere. So this is centered. I'm gonna move them one forward. All right, here it goes. 306, something was caught there on the ground. I don't know what that was. But let's see how our wing alignment goes. That felt good. Yes, yes, that's feeling good. I like this. I like this. This is a good trajectory. I think we found the sweet spot of the wings to keep us up in the air. Now it's just about getting that speed. We need to get up to like the 320s, I think, for this to happen. All right, here it goes. Four more engine increase in power. Let's see if we can make it. I don't like that sound. I feel like something was grinding against the ground back there. <gasps> Go down. We're there. Oh, come on. Why do you do this to me? You tease me so much with like almost success and then you don't even let me take it. What if we land right here? Does that count? Well, not if we explode. 320s. We hit the 320s. Okay, go, 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 I don't even care that we exploded at the bottom. We've done it. We just hit the biggest gap in this map without using any thrusters whatsoever. Pure gravity after the uh, after the initial jump. I mean, just like I predicted, we did have to use wings to give us lift along the way, but we had no power after that, and I did not know that that was going to be possible. But we've done it, and I was really not expecting to do it. Not only did we do it, but we had a super smooth landing and um i i'm gonna i'm just i kind of blew my own mind there i did not expect this to work i've i've been recording for almost an hour and a half now i've taken who knows how many attempts at this so please leave a like if you have witnessed that jump there just now leave a comment down below letting me know what other things you want to see me do with this map. What kind of stuff do you want to see on the channel? There's so many things. If you if you didn't see the video exploring this entire map, sh showcasing everything it had to offer, go check out the last video right now because uh, it's, it's a lot of stuff on this map. We have all kinds of things here. But jumps was one of the most common requests from last video, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you want to see in the next video. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss it, and hit the notification bell so you'll know exactly when the videos come out. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.